First thing you have to do is set the filters properly. You don't want to burn out your eyeball. So the first thing you want to do is take the sextant, raise it up. With all the filters in place, you want to drop some filters in and other filters out until you find the combination of filters that gives you best image of the sun. Again, it depends very much on the given day which set of filters you're going to use. Notice that we have a somewhat cloudy day today. Even if there is some cloud cover and there is not a crisp image of the sun, the proper set of filters may pull the image of the sun out of the cloud cover. The point is that if you get a clear image of either the top or the bottom of the sun, you can take the shot. If you're using the bottom of the sun, we call that shooting the lower limb. If you use the top, you are shooting the upper limb. To actually take the shot, I start with the index arm set to zero degrees, zero minutes, and with the filters in place, look directly at the sun. Be careful. The filters must be fully in place and you must look directly through the center of the telescope to be sure you do not hurt your eye. Since you should be seeing an image from both the index mirror and the horizon mirror, there should be two images of the celestial body, in this case, the sun. The coloring of these images will totally depend on the filters being used at the time. If you have a perfectly calibrated sextant, it will appear as if you are seeing only one image. Try turning the micrometer drum to be sure there is a second image behind the front one. You point the sextant at the sun, you squeeze the release levers of the index arm, and you follow the sun that is moving down. You follow it down until you get close to the horizon. Then you have to move the horizon shades out of the way so you can see both the celestial body and the horizon. You want to adjust the micro drum until you have the lower limb of the celestial body just kissing the horizon. As you're adjusting the micrometer, you want to pivot the sextant so that the sun is creating a pendulum action against the horizon. You do this to make sure you've got the correct shot that the, that the sextant is perpendicular to the horizon when you've got it. When you have the spot where the sun is just at, just kissing the horizon, you say mark, and the person who's keeping track of your time writes down the time of the shot.